In this setup video, TMC focuses on clean bench with gimbal piston isolators, a 30 by 48 inch table with a quarter 20 tapped clean bench top. Other setups may vary slightly. Remember to practice safe lifting and handling. When in doubt, seek assistance. TMC is available by phone to help with questions. These tables come packed inside large cardboard boxes with steel strapping. The top is packed at the bottom making the system more stable for trucking. The complete table system weighs five to six hundred pounds depending upon size. To break the banding, tin snips are the best tool. Exercise caution. The strapping may spring back when cut. Dispose of the strapping properly. Inside the box is a bag of hardware and any accessories included with the order. Front support bar or armrest pads, for example. In the hardware bag, you'll find online registration instructions, a hardware checklist, 20 feet of quarter inch tubing, a press lock fitting for the end of the tubing, and a reducing bushing which allows for the option of using either 1 8 inch NPT or 1 quarter inch NPT male threads. It will be up to the end user's facility to provide 80 PSI of compressed air up to TMC tubing connections. You'll also find a black wrench which is used for adjusting leveling feet and three valve control arms. For smaller frames, two people can lift it out of the box. To make it easier to lift, we are cutting back the cardboard box. Place the leg frame in the position it's going to sit in the lab. Once the top is in place, it is more difficult to move. With the frame positioned, the leveling foot on the bottom of each leg can be adjusted and the frame leveled using a carpenter's level. The leveling foot has dimples which can be turned using the spanner wrench provided in the hardware bag. The leveling foot is shipped in the middle of its 5 8 inch total throw. The input air line can now be run to the press lock fitting on the filter located on the back right leg. Insert the tube at this time. To install the tubing into the fitting, press the tubing into the orange ring until it stops. If the tubing needs to be cut, it must be clean and square to the ends, not at an angle. To remove the tubing, press the lock connector, push the orange ring in towards the fitting, and pull the tubing out. Run the supply line to your air source and set the input pressure to 80 PSI. Remember to use proper plumbing techniques such as appropriate sized wrenches and thread sealant. Next, the valve control arms can be installed into the three valves on the leg frame. First, unscrew the red thumb screw so that it is flush with the underside of the lever arm. Second, move the rubber pad all the way down closest to the lever arm. You will have to run up the lock nut, include it under the rubber pad. Go ahead and place each valve control arm into the valve bracket on each of the three valves. There are valves on the two front legs and on the back left leg. Tighten the red thumb screw so that the valve arm is near horizontal. This prevents the valve arm from falling out. Now you are ready to install the top onto the legs. For a clean bench with tapped holes, the top is packaged separately. If you are opening a smooth top clean bench, the top would be located inside the same box as the legs, not in a separate box as shown here. The top should be lifted properly. Here we are using fork tines to lift the top while still in its packaging. Remove the top cardboard. Then the bottom cardboard can be cut away, maintaining the cardboard between the fork tines and the painted underside of the top. The top can be placed onto the legs. A tape measure can be helpful here to center the top on the legs. Align the black load discs centered on the shiny aluminum clamp ring so they are straight within one eighth of an inch. 
Make sure that the top is sitting flat on all four legs. If any of the legs are high or low, use the black wrench to raise or lower the leveling feet. Note the point on the large end of the wrench to be used in the dimple on the leveling foot. The other end is equipped for adjusting the casters if that option is included. A carpenter's level can assist with making the top surface level. We are going to start with adjusting the air in the back left leg. This leg also controls the back right leg. Push the valve lever arm down and become familiar with how the isolator responds. Run the isolator all the way up to its max travel. Notice the rate at which the isolator moves. Listen for the airflow. Now unscrew the rubber pad screw until the isolator floats at a height of about 3 eighths of an inch. This is measured between the load disc and the clamp ring. You may have to turn the rubber pad 5 to 10 turns. Once you reach that height, move on to the next leg. Next, we'll adjust the front right leg. Cycle the lever arm, making sure the isolator responds, and set it to 3 eighths of an inch float height, exactly the same as the first leg. Do not pay attention to the positions of the other legs since we have not adjusted all the legs and the table is not floating evenly. Third, adjust the front left leg to the same float height. Notice the back right leg comes back down when the front left leg is raised. Once all three valves are adjusted to the 3 8 inch float height, the table is ready to use. You may have to go back and make some small adjustments to the rubber pad screw to make sure each leg is even. This concludes the clean bench setup video.